Okay, here we go. So I'm recording this first thing in the morning after I woke up. I'm trying this out because I watched a YouTube video yesterday about flow and there were a few tips in that flow video that seemed like it might be really useful. One that I'm trying out, the actual specific instruction is pretty extreme, so I couldn't follow it exactly. He says, sit down and work within 90 seconds of waking up. To maximize our likelihood of accessing a flow state. Now the easiest way to do this is to wake up and get to work within 90 seconds of opening your eyes. You're probably like, what? This sounds like some kind of a weird workaholic thing to do, but it's actually the opposite. And that sounds extreme, yeah, 90 seconds. I mean, I take a dump after I wake up, I drink water after I wake up. So it's not 90 seconds, I maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes after I woke up, I'm sitting down now. But another tip was to not check your phone. And I can't really do that either because I record my weight first thing in the morning. But after I recorded my weight and my sleeping hours, I put my phone back down and do not disturb and did not check any of the messages that arrived. So hopefully that's good enough. I'll leave the flow video link in the description for you to check it out. I think it's worth watching. So definitely have a look. I don't know if I'm getting any closer to a flow state just by filming myself first thing in the morning. But the good thing is if I get my filming done, then that's one recording session out of the way. Now I'm going to go on a side note talking about yesterday's recording because I'm trying to post a video every day, right? Yesterday's recording, I was talking about the men's semifinal tennis match matches and I watched it after I posted it and I was like, oh, I don't quite like the whole of what I said because I was missing out some key parts. I'm missing out why the match was so important, why everyone was looking forward to it. I didn't explain why there was anticipation between Carlos Alcaraz and Novak Djokovic that they had never met in a Grand Slam before and they're the top players of the game right now. I didn't say any of that. So people who are watching who are not tennis fans, they won't my point is, when I'm just free flow talking, I miss points that I would have otherwise have said if I had scripted it. And the scripting process would have definitely taken way longer, but I would have at least hit all the points that I wanted to hit. So I guess this is this is what you get when you do free flow exercises like these. There are just so many cuts because there are so many pauses here and there. So it's just tiny little clips all smushed together. I guess that's why it's so amazing that Charlie has these just long, uncut shots of him just talking for like, I don't know, 30 plus seconds. Uh, uh, continuously without any edit that's that's the level I'd like to get to but I guess I'm at like a bronze level and he's like diamond level maybe even higher than diamond level in terms of game ranking I have to keep working at it going back to the flow tips if I record one video in the morning then that gives me an opportunity to record another video in the afternoon or evening or if I get busy in the afternoon or evening then I at least finish my one video in the day and I don't have to record really late at night, right? So I think it's a good idea to record a video first thing in the morning and start editing it immediately. So I'm going to try that. I'll have a bit of bedhead and it won't, I won't look as presentable as when I'm in the afternoon after a shower and all that, but I think it still might be worth it to record first thing in the morning. So let's give it a shot when I can, when, when I don't have to do anything in the morning. If I am busy in the morning, I'll have to do it when I get back. Let's see how everything turns out. 